women here with different ears. They're not listening to us, people. The women, it seems like Dina is still not listening as a woman. You've got to hear what men for say. The last two hours. Yeah, but you're not listening. You're hearing what's coming out my voice, out my head, but you're not listening. I'm talking as a man. This is the kind of things that men say that women need to open their ears and listen to. That's what I'm asking. It's you our way of communicating. The right word. For him, yes, and for okay. us, yes. For women, what would that word be then? I don't know what you want to make it. I don't mind what you want to make it either. But as long as we both understand it means the same thing. It's a sexual level. Can you get on the mic? Don wants to say something as well. More clarity, more coming. I, I, I believe that... Smooth um, says women never listen to us blokes. Laugh out loud. Yeah, they, they do listen. You'd be surprised. <laughs> they just choose not to acknowledge the fact that they're listening. But the point I was making is, yes, lust, I agree, it is the right word. And if, 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 she, if it's her partner that you know, they ref she's referring to, she will understand yeah. what he means by lust. Maybe another woman might think, oh, lust, I don't like this word, lust. That's it the beginning right. of the yeah. relationship. Yeah. But they don't know, they don't know th that relationship that they're having. Exactly. So when he says, I'm still in lust with her, it's a big compliment. She would it's accept that as a compliment. big compliment. And women because she's the one who he's in lust with, you know. And you don't have, you know, obviously they've been together for eight years, so there must be some love there. I think. You can have love without lust. Absolutely. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So to have love and lust is great. It's good. And to have, even, even if you say, I'm in lust with her, but I don't love her, there must be something that's keeping you there. And if it's lust. Sex. Then that that can't be a bad that's thing because you're there, isn't well, he? Well, sometimes it's a bad thing because nothing evolves from the relationship apart from just more physical torture. <laughs> if you think <laughs> that love is sex is torture, <laughs> my sex is I'll, torture. I'll, no, okay. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm Thank out. Thank you very I'm much, Tom. Thank you very much. Even more clarity, I would say. Um, Matt is obviously 100% still in love with her, as he says in the in the chat room. Well, what I'm saying is. Um, you can have, when you're, when you're in lust with someone, you can be in lust with someone in a magazine. Okay, you can see a picture of a model in a magazine. You can be in lust with um, pornographic imagery. You can be in lust with a girl that works in a canteen. But how much is that lust? It could be 100%, it could be 10%. You could still be in lust with that person. But if you are with a woman for eight years, and she is not a supermodel, and she is not um, the, the, the epitome of womanhood, blah, blah, blah. But she is the epitome of womanhood in Matt's eyes, and she is 100% the supermodel that she met, he met eight years ago. So in Matt's eyes, and in what men understand as in lust is, we understand what Mary is to Matt physically, okay? so. We want to be 100% in lust with our woman, okay? And st obviously still be in love with her emotionally, on an emotional level, okay? I'm thinking I've covered that one, but if not, please get in the chat room and say it's not clear. Ah, and Matt has reiterated what I just said. Mary is her, his supermodel and has given him a beautiful son, of which I agree completely. JJ is unbelievably cute. Wicked person. Not wicked. <laughs> He's wicked. Okay. Sick. <laughs> He's heavy. <laughs> JJ. Okay. Um, uh, I'll tell you what. Um, there's there's um, Dina's, Dina's bowed to the men that have managed to stay in love with their wives. To applaud married men who are still in love with their women and not ashamed to say so. We will proudly say it from the rooftops, okay? But a lot of a lot of cynicism is out there about you know relationships breaking down and these people are doing something like that just to say something to their women to cover a deceit in the past. You know we get a lot of cynicism going around, but if you just accept it for what it is, it's pure unadulterated love. Get over it. It's 100% lust, 100% love. Don't worry about it, okay?
learn to listen to what the man is saying. It will help your relationship in the future. Um, in terms of, uh, we're going on to six o'clock now, so it's, it's flown by this couple of hours, and I'm glad that people have gone. It's mad. It's, it can't go, keep going on because I'm so sorry. It's six o'clock. It's time for the Blaps experience. What <laughs> can I do about it? <laughs> I uh, think next week we'll be continuing this conversation, okay, because I've been asked by Ladies at Chat to do a two-part show, and so this week was the first part, next week is the second part, and we'll be concentrating on uncovering all those things that men do that women don't understand. I'm going to make it completely clear to all of you, all right? Put your questions to blapsexperience at tropicalfm.com or catch me on Facebook if you've got me on Facebook, Victor Evelyn, Victor S. Dot Evelyn RM. Okay, on Facebook, and then join me on Facebook, and uh, or you can join the Blaps, um, Blaps Experience, Blaps Talk page on Facebook. And um, let me know. Give me your questions. Put them in the inbox, and uh, make sure that you get a hearing. Make sure you tell me if you want to remain anonymous or not. Okay. Right. So thank you. It's been great. I loved it. Um, I hope it was clarified a few things for you. Dina's giving me the thumbs up. She's happy. Don one's cool. So as far as I'm concerned, I did a good job so far. Uh, I see you next week for the next part, the second part. Um, which will clarify even further the relationships that we all think are strange. <laughs> okay. I can't say we've been blacks, but <laughs> 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 thank you for everyone being in the chat room. Smooth, Dina, Matt, cheers, my man. Wicked job, thank you. Lilac Rose, show much love, and someone who else? Jan Wan, Jan Wan was it? Okay, and uh, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, and uh, Lady J was earlier in there. Thank you all for coming in the chat room and making the program live. See you in a minute. Blaps experience. Bye-bye. <laughs>